Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to... Great. Get back to me when you're done and I'll give you something for your time. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time it's to be wandering damn Skyrim. Black blood I've got your back. They're scaring off shipping. The finest fish here. I've got your back. I'm right behind you. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. Investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Over oh. here. Yes, of course, you're huh? right. Falk, Maybe tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers Thank to Dragonbridge. You. Here, this is for you. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Barnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Nothing. I'm busy, and I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine, I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire problem. Bodies have been found with blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It's it was Torg who appointed me to the position. Very. I helped raise him. Oh, I could not have been more proud to see Torg on the throne. He made a fine king. A fine king. I beg your pardon? Hold your tongue, wizard, or you're likely to lose it. Stop it, both of you. You're acting like children. Not really. Varnius Junius is a fool. I'm sure nothing will come of it. I suppose if you're truly interested, you could talk to Falk. He's the better safe than sorry type. I have no time or patience for a student. Perhaps the College of Winterhold will grant you admission. I was to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. Because Ulfric needed a symbol. Someone he could defeat that represented the Empire. The White Gold Concordat, the banning of Talos' worship. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. When he died, Torig became that symbol. 
No. Even after Isla died, the Moot voted to make Torig High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that Moot, continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torig respected him for that. If Ulfric had asked Torig directly to stand up, to declare independence, Torig might have done it. Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the God was once Tiber Septim the Man, and this is his Empire. And Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. Vampires are clever hunters. More clever than you, definitely. If you have business, please... With the passing of my dear husband, Torig, the way he... Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband, and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war, and her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim, and like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with, one my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Yes, of course, but Ulfric's message is a powerful one. More of our people flock to his cause every day. It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. I've got your back. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Do you have business with the court? You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Eriker. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes, and I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You'd do well to remember that. 
That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Jarls for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. And what might you need, hmm? Need something? Until next time. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Still here.
sometimes it pays to look at every nook and cranny. Behind you. 